What's going on YouTube today, man? It's gonna be another tutorial day. Uh, I actually have a few videos recorded, but and I need to render. But I figured that today I'll put out my mushroom farm, just to let you guys know how to get down with that. So basically, what we want to do here is, uh, ah, shit, we got it. Never mind. Basically what you want to do here is you want to build your farm. Um, now, 9 times out of 10, it's best to build it about 3 by 3. I mean about 4 by 4, maybe 5 by 5. Depending on how you're gonna, how your layout is going to be. And yeah, I'm on my server as you can see. Um, this is basically what this is right here is basically my tutorial world. I've actually turned it into my tutorial world since don't nobody really plays on this map like that. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna be doing all my tutorials and stuff. So uh, just bear with me. Um, let's see. Let's get some soil. I mean some dirt. Oh boy, it's been a long week for me. Starting this new class has been killer. I mean, like, really. It's real stressful, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Uh. Never mind, I think I got some over here. So anyways, this is what you're doing basically. I can't remember exactly how long mine is. It's actually, I can actually take you there in a minute. I'm just gonna finish building this one. Okay, really, you won't just go ahead and flow this way. You're gonna make me go through all this building. All right, now, try it now. Oh boy, let's see. First of all, let's just put those up for a second. see that my um, I took a look in on my YouTube account today and actually seen that the lighting video has been doing very well so with that said I might be doing another video kind of like that soon yeah there we go all right Basically, this is how I do it. Um, it's not too tough. I mean, after a while, I mean, after your first one, you should get the rest of it with no problem. 
I have mine set up right now to run four and it can run even more than that just depending on how much how many sticky pistons you got let's put it that way and I actually went ahead and on my let's play I've actually been working on my slime farm and um it's been taking some time but I'm just about finished digging out everything and I'll be putting up uploading a video of that real soon too um took me a while to actually get that video even close to being ready I mean get that uh farm even close to being ready Uh, just don't pay me enough attention right now. I'm just making sure that I'm doing this the right. I mean, doing this the right height. Um, oh boy, let's see here. Alright, this is basically how I do it. Uh, you can change it however you want to. I'm pretty sure that everybody has their own preferences on how they want things to look. But this right here is just basically um, just a quick view of it. I really hate this mess. I should have just built it outside like I started to. Do I have... Oh, no, I don't want the button. Alright, and it's done basically. Let me show you. Um, basically, this is what's going on right here. Alright, see, so, so you put, so you got uh, your mushrooms in there, and they're all working out and coming together and everything. But what you're doing now is you just run over here. You know, this is where everything's gonna drop. You run over here, you hit the f you flip the switch, and which releases the water. Oh god, do I got the thing? I got wood up under that, don't I? I didn't put water in there. Huh. That's funny. That's real funny. Alright, so what you do is you flip the switch once you flip the switch you'll see the stuff start to flow over this way and it falls down now you can always hook it up to you can always have it just like this right here hook it up to a pressure plate where the pressure plate indicates that it's uh that it's there and you know whatever okay cut off let me see here Mm. 
All right. Now. How did a zombie get all the way up there? Wow. One of my uh one of my friends or whatever uh decided that he was bored one day so he decided to build that. Tell me why he was that bored. Come on, I see. Come on. Anyways, so as you can see right here, this is my mushroom farm that I had built a long time ago and waited for the pistons to come in. Uh, seems like somebody left the thing on. So no mushrooms was growing in there. Uncovered it, left it on, let light get in there. Wow. Somebody didn't want mushrooms to grow. But anyway, so how I got mine set up is I have four channels. Mine is completely automatic. Automated. So, you know, you got your source block right here. This one right here is the one. Well, this block right here, actually. Hold on. Let me see. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. This block right here is the block that has the water up on, I mean, over top of it. So, once this block is lifted, I have mushrooms right there so that once the water flows out it can't flow and lock that mushroom from right there which lets me not have to come in here and put a mushroom here every time so basically whenever that mushroom grows out here and grows all the mushrooms out here I flip the switch water flows in flows it down here well down this hole right here which goes on out there and the same for the other three. It, go, it comes on out here. And flows down to right here. And I didn't make it go any further than that. I just figured that was far enough. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, so yeah. Once I hit the switch, it, it opens up. On all of them. as you can see and everything just flows right on out there so yeah that's my mushroom farm hope you guys like it and um please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe um ted in has been king of bcg stay tuned for our next tutorial i'm pretty sure you're gonna love it